So I have to say I've been enjoying Final Fantasy XIV again, now that I have my subscription on, on it again, and it's pretty fun. Unfortunately, I just don't have a whole lot of time that I want to dedicate to it, so I haven't been getting very far in it. But I, I'm still making a shitload of gill. That's an in-game currency. For instance, I'm usually craft uh, a crafting person. So right now I'm crafting, trying try, try to level up my blacksmithing, but I'm also trying to make some stuff I can sell. And it just occurred to me, Mithrite Sand takes five to make a Mithrite Nugget instead of one, like I thought, so that's unfortunate. Oh well. Mithrite Sand's pretty expensive. It's like 300 bucks a piece. But basically that's because... Oh. But basically that's because you have to go to one of the new areas to mine it, and not many people have access to the new areas. Because it's the new areas in the expansion. The issue with that is you have to go through all of the main story quests to get to it. So, yeah. Oh. So, yeah, it's probably going to be a while until I get to that area, but oh well. One thing you can always do on Final Fantasy XIV to make a lot of money is, uh, well, let's go to the market boards. People are paying 40 bucks for iron ore. Well, if we go to the blacksmithing guild, that guild, we can actually buy as much iron, iron ore as we could possibly want for, I think it's 18 gil per ore. So all you do is you just, you just get like 40 stacks of iron ore from here and you put it up on the markets and people pay more, more than double the price. It's a really great way to make money. I usually make about a hundred, hundred thousand gil a day, just from, just from doing this. It's pretty effective. There's several other instances where you can do something similar. But the thing is, iron ore uses a very large, uh, iron ore is, is used in a very large portion of crafting. For instance, I, I believe pretty much everything with cobalt requires iron ore. So yeah, you can just, you can get stuff from NPCs and sell it on, on here. Now, of course, it does kind of make sense because if it's on the markets, then anybody can buy it from any of the other two city-states in the game. Like, for instance, if you're in Ulda or Gridania, then you can, you can, you can, you can buy stuff there. But the NPC that sells the iron ore for really cheap is only in Limsa Lominza. So... To be honest, if I was in one of the other areas of the game and I wanted iron ore, I might pay the extra money if, if I didn't have it already. But yeah, it's just kind of funny. Market price is... 40 for that, but mostly 50. Let's just go 40. So yeah, it's always fun to do this. And then, I can always take this money that I slowly build up and just buy some of the fanciest gear on the markets. Or not really fanciest, but just like whenever I need it. Oh, you sure that's some Mithrite Nuggets. Let's see how much those are going for. Eh, 2500, that's not too bad. I'll just put these for 2500. I want to get them to sell. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so what I gotta do now is I gotta go do this dungeon. But dungeons can take a lot of time, and you can always have, like, arguments and shit with other players, and it's like, anytime you have to deal with other players, it just kind of saps the fun from the game. I know it's a massive multiplayer online role-playing game, but I'd rather have not, not have the, role, the multiplayer required, you know? But, oh, well. Well, my day's actually been pretty good. I managed to get myself a nice little roll of gaffer's tape. Gaffer's tape is so... Such a nice tape. So much better than duct tape. It's like 
25 bucks for a roll. Granted, the roll is like that thick when you first get it. But the stuff is so amazing. It's where the term gaffer comes from, like in the movie industry. So yeah. They use this a lot on movie sets to... As like labels or to hold cables down or pretty much anything. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a cloth. It's not really like a plasticky duct tape feel. I like it. Now that I'm actually making money and not just getting like YouTube income, I may start buying like myself a bunch of nice gaffer's tape and I might buy some, my mom some gaffer's tape and stuff like that, you know, because I can kind of afford a couple rolls here and then, you know, because it, it's not like I'm making minimum wage anymore. Well, compared to other people I kind of am, but I still make a, enough money to, to buy myself some decent tape, you know? Good fucking tape. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!